guys, this is Kostu. He participated in a wonderful project called Beach Cleanup. But he was shocked to find patches of garbage not only on the sand but also floating in the sea. This made him think about how much water pollution disrupts our ecosystem. Sewage, domestic waste and industrial waste continuously gets mixed up with water and causes pollution. What we don't think about often is the impact of this contamination on the environment. While cleaning up the beach, the guide assigned different spots to different teams. One of the spots looked like something Kostov had seen in a documentary on marine life. It was called the Great Pacific Garbage Patch and it was about a 6,000 mile long swirling mass of waste. It disrupts the entire marine ecosystem. Algae and small floating plants absorb all these pollutants from water bodies. They are eaten by small fish, which are eaten by bigger fish. The pollutants are transferred into their bodies. At the top of the food chain are large marine animals like sharks who consume smaller marine life in huge quantities. Notice how the concentration of toxins in the body tissues of these organisms keeps increasing. This is called bioaccumulation. Costa wondered how human beings who consume seafood are affected by this. His guide informed him that because of this, the accumulation of toxins from water pollutants is the highest in human beings. And since these toxins are not biodegradable, they keep getting accumulated in the human body, leading to many diseases and health hazards. Hot water from the thermal power plants is also an indirect pollutant. It causes thermal pollution in water bodies. Shocking, isn't it? As Kostub and his friends continued cleaning the beach, they came across a large area of oil spills in the sea. Oil spills are harmful to marine life. They are unable to insulate themselves from cold water. They also ingest oil while trying to clean themselves, which also leads to poisoning. Wow, we have to learn to be aware of the effects of water pollution on marine life and even on our own health. Did you know that Asia has the highest number of contaminated rivers than any other continent? This contamination is mainly made up of bacteria from human waste. As the children finish cleaning up the beach, they learned that almost 2 million tons of human waste are exposed to water daily.